there has been enormous progress in single cell analytics and I think this is scientifically the most important progress. Uh, it opens new avenues how we can understand interaction of cells within the liver and particularly between the immune system and, and the liver. So that will change our scientific understanding of uh, basic science and probably also open new avenues for clinical uh, treatment. And there have been important new uh, treatment um, trials and uh, registry trials uh, that uh, are relevant particularly to the autoimmune and rare liver diseases. I think particularly important is the RNA interference trial for alpha-1 antitrypsin, uh, which has uh, received a lot of attention. I noted it was on the BBC News website yesterday um, because it's a novel approach. People have been thinking about RNA interference for many years. Um, and it's received the uh, Nobel Prize uh, a few years ago. But seeing it in clinical use for a very, very uncomfortable disease is really encouraging. It's not a common disease, but patients who have it are suffering badly. Some of them need liver transplantation to solve that metabolic problem. And now we have the perspective of a treatment that will really improve their life. We learned a lot about the management of primary biliary cholangitis. We learned that beta fibrate, uh, which has already received a lot of attention because of the Betzozo trial showing uh, that it is very effective, has a lot of other positive effects now on secondary analysis. It seems to improve prognosis even in patients who do not seem to respond as nicely in their lab values as you would expect. So it really seems to be an important addition. Even in patients who have been put on OCA um, and are not responding perfectly on that treatment, addition of beta fibrate is beneficial. And we have learned that after liver transplantation for PBC, it seems to be essential to give the patients ursa. Um, and as a little surprise, that immunosuppression with cyclosporin rather than trocolimus seems to be better for patients with PBC after transplantation. So these are clinical insights that are relevant for daily practice. It is good to see that more and more clinical studies are coming up in the field of rare diseases and also more scientific activity. I think it is very important. In the past, everything has been concentrating on viral hepatitis. There's still a lot of impetus, of course, for NASH now, um, but increasingly, hepatologists and scientists are focusing on these diseases which are formerly rare diseases, but considering that they're chronic diseases, there are a lot of patients who are suffering from them and now getting scientific attention. So that's encouraging. I think it's a very lively Congress. It was a pleasure to see so many basic science contributions of high caliber. It's a pleasure to see so many young investigators here. Um, it has grown enormously. It's uh, almost a little bit too big because you can't attend all the parallel sessions that you would like to go to. Uh, it is good that with the internet-based information system you can access information even of events that you haven't been able to attend. So I think uh, this conference is developing extremely well. Mm -hmm.